With over 11 million individuals misusing opioids, including prescription opioids such as hydrocodone and oxycodone, and illicit opioids such as heroin, and alarming rates of opioid overdose, opioid use disorder has approached epidemic proportions. Opioids exert their effects primarily through their agonist actions at mu opioid receptors. Mu opioid receptors are densely located in brain areas modulating pain and reward, such as the ventral tegmental area, or VTA. Stimulation of mu opioid receptors results in decreased release of GABA, coinciding with increased levels of dopamine in the nucleus accumbens. Prolonged use of opioids also results in modulation of norepinephrine. When opioids are no longer present, as with the cessation of heroin use, there is overactivation of the norepinephrine system, resulting in symptoms of withdrawal. In the opioid addict, these withdrawal symptoms often lead to the individual seeking out additional opioids. Withdrawal symptoms can be fairly intense and can last for over a week. In order to promote abstinence from opioid abuse, one can use medications that occupy mu opioid receptors in order to lower the experience of withdrawal symptoms. This is known as medication-assisted treatment, or MAT. There are primarily three pharmacological agents used in MAT for opioid use disorder, methadone, buprenorphine, and naltrexone. In the following animation, we will review the mechanism of action of these three agents and discuss using these agents to achieve continued opioid abstinence. We will use heroin as an example of opioid use. However, the following applies to treatment of any opioid abuse, including prescription drugs such as oxycodone and hydrocodone. Methadone was the first approved MAT for opioid use disorder. As a full agonist, Methadone acts at the mu opioid receptor to increase neurotransmission, essentially replacing heroin occupancy of those receptors. However, methadone does not elicit the same euphoric high experienced after using heroin. In this way, methadone allows individuals with opioid use disorder to discontinue use of heroin without experiencing the withdrawal symptoms that come with abrupt discontinuation of heroin. Methadone is only available through specialty clinics where the patient must make daily visits for administration. This may lead to some restrictions to access as well as associated stigma. Also linked with methadone is an increased risk for respiratory depression and overdose. It is available orally in both a liquid and tablet formulation. The withdrawal resulting from discontinuation of methadone is less than that for heroin. However, the withdrawal symptoms may still be somewhat severe and may last longer than those associated with heroin discontinuation. Buprenorphine acts as a partial agonist at the mu opioid receptor. Thus, the neurotransmission resulting from binding of buprenorphine to the mu opioid receptor is less than that seen for full mu opioid receptor agonists, such as methadone or heroin. In fact, Buprenorphine will act as an antagonist in the presence of a mu opioid receptor agonist, blocking its effects. Due to this mechanistic action of buprenorphine, it may precipitate active withdrawal symptoms in individuals currently using heroin. For this reason, it is recommended that patients be experiencing at least some mild withdrawal from an opioid agonist, such as methadone, before initiating buprenorphine. As with methadone, Buprenorphine does not elicit the euphoric high experienced with heroin, but may prevent symptoms of opioid withdrawal. Unlike methadone, buprenorphine does not need to be administered at specialty clinics, although specialty licensing for the prescriber is required, and is associated with less risk for respiratory depression. Buprenorphine is available as a sublingual tablet and a film, as well as a long-acting implant. The withdrawal symptoms experienced upon discontinuing buprenorphine may be as severe as those experienced when discontinuing methadone. However, they may have a shorter duration. Buprenorphine is also available as a combination product with naloxone. This combination is actually very interesting. Naloxone is a mu opioid receptor antagonist 
that can block the actions of mu opioid receptor agonists or partial agonists. Taken sublingually, naloxone is not very active and has little effect. However, if a buprenorphine naloxone combination formulation is diverted into inhaled or injected form, the naloxone's antagonist effects will dominate and withdrawal symptoms will be precipitated. This combination of buprenorphine naloxone prevents the abuse of buprenorphine itself. Naltrexone is a mu opioid receptor antagonist. Thus, binding of naltrexone to mu opioid receptors results in no effect, yet blocks the actions of opioid agonists. It is important that an individual be free of opioid agonists for 7 to 10 days before initiating naltrexone, as naltrexone can precipitate withdrawal in those actively using opioids. Naltrexone does not require specialty facilities or licenses and is available as both oral and 30-day depot formulations. Compared to methadone or buprenorphine, there is relatively little risk of respiratory depression or overdose. Additionally, as an antagonist of mu opioid receptors, naltrexone blocks the actions of mu opioid receptor agonists such as heroin. When an individual is taking naltrexone, simultaneous use of heroin will have no euphoric effects. This may result in extinction of the reward pathway whereby heroin use is no longer associated with rewarding effects. In this case, a relapse to heroin use while on naltrexone may actually help the individual to abstain from continued heroin abuse. During any transition from heroin to MAT or from one MAT to another, non-opioid medications such as the alpha-2 agonist lefexidine for adrenergic symptoms and anti-diarrhea agents may be used to ease withdrawal symptoms. This use of opioid MAT along with non-opioid treatments to ease withdrawal symptoms may make the ultimate goal of maintained abstinence from opioid use more bearable and obtainable by individuals suffering from opioid use disorder.